Hi, and welcome to our how-to series for Thea the Awakening. Today, we're going to show you how to play our card minigame. The card game is used for all challenges in Thea, but we're going to show you the fight challenge first. So the first thing that happens behind the scenes is the initiative roll, and it determines who goes first. This is completely random. Your deck is made out of your current party members, be it from the exploring party or the village. They are then randomly split into two hands, the offensive on the left hand and the tactical on the right. Offensive cards are used for straightforward attack and tactical cards offer support moves that can be played either on your own cards or the opponents. Cards are placed on the table from left to right and land on the end of the table unless you have a pointed weapon or special skills that can allow you to move up a space. You can see how many cards you can play in your turn by looking at the number above the hourglass. So here we have the initiative so we start first and we have two moves available so we play two offensive cards. Every playthrough begins with the preparation phase and is then followed by two combat phases. If the challenge is not resolved after the two combat phases, another round begins. So we are now in the preparation phase, which will end when all the desired cards are played by both sides. So we played our two available moves, we press the hourglass and our opponent has their turn. Cards will always attack their nearest opponent on either side and the combat begins from left to right. The value next to the sword icon is your attack damage and the shield is your health points. So let's discuss our opponent's smart move here. So he played a card that had the pointed weapon, meaning he was able to move one space in front of the last card played. This means that he will likely now survive the first attack because our first card will not be able to pierce through his health points. He will then have a chance to take down one of our guys. Tactical cards help you and make enemies' life more difficult. Some tactical skills need to have the same or higher level than the card they attempt to affect, while others will work regardless of level. You can check card levels at the bottom of every card. So here we played the tactical skill Confuse, and so the affected enemy card will not be able to act in the first combat phase. Tactical skills like Confuse affect the last eligible card on the table. Right. So now we play the rest of the cards. Your cards can have a variety of special skills and damage types. These can come from the weapon type, for example pointed damage discussed earlier, or blunt damage in hammers, with the ability to trample that continues to deal damage that exceeds the enemy's health, meaning it will keep on killing until its damage runs out or the enemy dies. Or you can have special skills, for example, poison damage, that deals double poison wounds to already wounded enemies, or leech, where you can regain the amount of health equal to the leech level. And so the setup phase ends as all the cards have been played, although it is worth noting that you don't need to play every card in your hand if you don't want to. Now the two combat phases start. Victory is achieved if all the cards, including those from the unused deck or unplayed, are destroyed. A card is destroyed when it reaches zero on its health points. In fight challenges, the wounds you get in the card game will carry over and can lead to your characters dying. So going down to zero is dangerous but survivable. At the same time, however, heavy wounds can also be fatal. You can hear your people faster by setting up camps and making sure they have fuel. And if you have a medic in your party, 
he decreases the chance of death for that party. So a heavily wounded character from a fight challenge may still be able to survive and make it back home, or he may die. Fight challenges are not the only type of problem solving in Thea. You will often encounter such obstacles as disease, social encounters, magical rituals and curses, and all of these are also resolved via the card minigame. The biggest mechanical difference lies in the risk. In non-fight challenges, you do not get automatic wounds. But you can have some dire consequences depending on the event where the challenge occurred. When you attack a foe roaming the land, you also potentially get the choice of how to attack them. So you can use straight fight, or do a tactical assault, an assassination, or even banishment spell for ghosts. The availability of these options will depend on the skills your party has, so it's worth having a diverse team. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll enjoy our card minigame. The Awakening is out in early access on Steam, Monday 28th of September.